Hi, welcome to our Homestead series. We hope this will be of enjoyment and informative. We don't know everything, we don't do everything perfect, but what we do know works for us. In these economic times, people have been talking about a back to the land movement or getting back to a more simple way of life. The transformation from the comforts of city dwelling and our modern way can be a little different going back to the homestead. I won't say complicated, but there are some things that people things some people should know. So I hope you enjoy this series. Thank you for watching. You know, I really hate it when this happens. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> Good thing the kids aren't out here. <laughs> yeah, I did a thumb trick to a kid one time and he kind of freaked out. He didn't know that trick. He turned white, didn't he? Anyways. <laughs> well, I know this one's going to be a little more comical. That's because I actually don't know what I'm doing, but I'll start to figure out as I go. Uh, the biggest part is when you're building a greenhouse from uh, used materials that you've been collecting, you know, to try to save money. Um, as I've been doing, you know, you get all these window sizes, so I'm just trying to configure so they can all match. And uh, making plans ahead of time, having done some carpentry, um, you know, sometimes you want to build six by six, for example, and you forget that your outside walls are adding three and a half inches, so you're going to have one wall that's seven inches wider. You know, stuff like this that I could explain maybe better, but uh, if someone has never done any carpentry, some things like that, they tend to mix up. And uh, I've learned pretty well everything as I go. Well, I mean, I've done carpentry work in the past, you know, for some people, but... So, I'm just doing some cutting before the storm comes. I was hoping it'd come sooner. It was my ticket out of here, but... <laughs> Uh, that feeling up to your first greenhouse tonight. So, uh, yeah. Look at the can't quite camera won't quite pick it up, but it's pretty dark. There's bugs all over this already. Little baby snails. <laughs> Anyways, I'm almost done here. I got just a few more to go. I buy econo studs um, to save some money, and of course sometimes you get some pretty shabby ones. I keep the shabby ones for uh, for other smaller raised beds I might build or any other just rough projects that I'm doing. And uh, it's a very worst, you know, firewood, right? Never throw stuff like that out if you have a wood stove, it burns. So. You know all the junk I've been collecting over the years from the dump, it's really starting to pay off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love the dump. Everybody's unwanted items. Boy, what a mess. Wish they wouldn't put staples in my this is all original. My wife is going to cut the windows that are collecting from the dump. Somebody must throw it out of barn or whatever. I don't know. Great, but they're all the same size. It's beautiful. So, I built this. For those of you who have done lots of carpentry, um, there's really no point in me saying much. You already know more than I will about it, and you probably could do this very simply, but. For those of you that don't have any experience, um, there's probably books and some things online you can get that can help you with diagrams, but all you're really doing is just building four walls, and um, as you can see, it's not quite sturdy yet because I have to finish the roof and bracing it. Um, I've measured all these two by four here for my wooden points. I'm going to put my back in the on. That's next. I've got two by twos for that. I actually had started this yesterday blocks that I was going to do, but if they're not perfect, you start bending and twisting the window, and that's not a good thing, so I, uh, uh, I'm going to have to pull these off and go one long strip. I think that's better anyways. And we're going to put a little bit of a concrete slab here, and uh, maybe some patio stones if I can get some, I'm not sure yet. And we're going to just basically make like a U-shape here with some compost dirt, and my wife's going to start. I might make some shelves in here too. If I put some shelves in here, she can put her sets on there to uh, get them started. We're going to do a video on that for you soon. So, anyways, we'll just see how this goes. Okay. Never do a really good job for your wife's friend because then you know what's going to happen. You'll be... Anyways, <laughs> uh, the reason that came up is because uh, my wife wanted to make a video clip and I was teasing her. I said, look, I have no idea what I'm doing. And uh, she said the first time he did a stone walkway for our friend, it was the first time he'd ever done it. And she loved it. Well, it did work out okay. Anyways. It was beautiful. Okay, here's... Uh, what I've been doing here. We've got these windows in. Now, I was planning on screwing through the steel. I did buy steel screws for this, but because of the way these are shaped, I already tried one, and the drill actually slipped off and hit the window, and so one or didn't go through it. So, 
what I'm doing now is I'm kind of putting these screws on an angle, okay? And they're holding the paint in good. And then what I'm going to do is take my sealant gun, as I was anyways, and I'm going to seal around this here like this. And that'll also help keep the windows in some added strength there too. So, uh, you know, and I mean, if worse comes to worse, if something happens, I mean, it's not like I have any money invested. So here's one I'm just showing you now. My wife's just kind of holding this gently for me here. I'm just taking my screw on an angle. And you can see how that's got that pinch now. And that'll pull that in fairly good. And I'm working from the bottom up at this point. As it turns out, this uh, the window height was just an inch too much. So that's, that's actually not bad because I can just fill that in with some wood trim. And I'm using about three screws per window pane on each side. That seems to be uh, ample for this. I could even do one on the bottom. Here. You don't want to put them in too tight because there's no sense in pulling the steel away from the glass. You might break it. Um, so. about not knowing what you're doing is the art of discovery. <laughs> How do you think Christopher Columbus found America? He had no idea what he was doing. That's how they found the moon. They had no idea what they were doing. <laughs> They're trying to build the fastest car for the races, next thing you know. One small cocking for Andy is one giant <laughs> Behave yourself. One giant mistake saved for everybody else. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't know what you're doing. You just kind of pray for the rest. There. You know, you just kind of hope everything's going to be Well, the truth is, you don't really know how it's supposed to be, but you have no idea what you're doing. But, you know, you need a little extra strength there. Quite as strong as I thought they were. They, well, I mean, you can stand them up and all, but I think over time, I noticed the glass is bowing in here, so I'm going to put a beam in front of it. But you know, that's how these things come together. You're not really sure at first what's going to happen. by holding ladders, the whole camera. Hang on. No, no, no. Just tell me. Well. Is it level now? Go back just a hair. About half an inch. Well, they're long. Well, these are longer. They're different lengths. So, it's all right. It's good. Let's just have a look and see how this looks. I like it. Okay. Yeah, I have to uh, drill some holes in this uh, their steel, eh? And I'll have to drill some holes through it so I can screw it in. I mean, they're heavy enough, but you don't want to just leave them sitting there. No. And uh, this thing keeps blowing because we're getting east wind today. I have to get some. Wouldn't you figure? Look at this. These two old windows just happen to fit perfect here. And I only had two of them. I did have to rip them on my table saw, a quarter of an inch there. And I got these hinges that I used to get from a place that I used to work at, and, uh, well, they, they didn't always play properly, right? So, there's some uh, zinc hinges that they won't rust, apparently. And, uh, now, of course, all these windows have to be thoroughly washed down. They've all been stored in for a while. So, uh, uh anyways, it's, uh, developing. It's getting there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, when did I promise you greenhouse? But ten years ago. Well, I did get you one, and then we moved, and we lost that, so I did fulfill it. Now I'm refulfilling <laughs> it again. There's a bit of a gap between them, and all I'll do with that is put some silicone in there, and that'll solve that problem. Okay. Okay. I think that's good.